Here I want to just give you a couple more examples of using a summation. I've got two questions here that we're going to work through to try and find the code. <coughs> the first question says, sum all the integers from 2 to 44. That is, s is going to be 2, 4, dot, 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 all the way up to 44. We want to do that using a for loop. Here's an example code here. So we want a for loop, right? And we want to print out the result. First of all, the for loop, a little bit down here, needs a counter. And the general form is something like this. OK. Now, the integer i refers to the variable for the for loop. If we go back to this function, it says we want to start at 2 and go up to 44. So our f And we're doing it all the I should say even integers, right? So we want to do it in twos. So here we're starting at two. We're going to go up to 44, and we're doing it by twos. Remember, i plus equals two is the same as i equals i plus two. Then we want to do s. What is s equals to? Well, s in here is clearly going to be an integer, so I should create memory space for that. So an integer memory space for s, that'll be OK. If I said i, right, then i, s would be 2, then 4, then 6, then 8, but we're not doing any summing. The way you do a sum is you say s equals s plus i, right? So the first time around, s is equal to 2. Then when i is 4, we're going to use the old value of s, which is 2, plus the new value, which is 4, and then on and on and on. And when we get down to the bottom, we print out the result. Sent you let's say s equals s. So let's debug and run that. See if I make oh I see a mistake already. Right. So let's okay, find my error. extra bracket. Okay, we look at the output. It says it's 506. Great. That's probably correct. Let's look at this second question. This notation, the sigma notation, is how in math you write a sum. This says we want to sum up 4 over n from n equals 1 to an infinity. So that means s will be 4 over 1 plus 4 over 2 plus 4 over 3 all the way up to infinity. Well, even with a computer, waiting till infinity is going to take a long time. So we're going to have to pick a number for infinity a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, and see how close. But it gives us 
something. It says, do it until we get four sig figs. That means you would run it on, you know, like start at 100, go to 200. And if it stays the same for the first four digits, then you've done it to four sig figs. Now, a couple of things here. S is not going to be an integer. It's going to have to be a decimal number. So if I come here and I look at this, right, I'm going to have to change this so that S is a float. Percent F for floats. And in this, we're going to be doing uh, 1. And let's go up to 100 first. And we're just doing it in steps of 1. And when we rate this, it's going to be S plus 4.0 divided by I. I need to make this a decimal so it doesn't round this. And then we print out the results. So let's have a look at what that does. All right, so um, S equals S plus 4 over I. See if there's any error messages. Okay, let's go to the output. And it says S is 20.745. Why? Let's pause that, go back up here, and do 200. Run it again. Let's look at the window. Okay much different number, so it's not good to four sig figs yet. Stop this. Let's double it again. The bigger it is, the longer the program's going to take to run. Seventy. Up, go to 800. Last time I'll do it because it looks like this is going to take a long time to converge. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to stop there, but I think you get the idea of how we run these programs. Anyhow, I'm going to include a couple of other problems for you to do.